The woman known as the Black Widow has won the right to have body samples of her dead husband released so they can be retested. Helen Milner was jailed for life in 2014 and ordered to spend at least 17 years in prison for poisoning Philip Nisbet in 2009 so she could get her hands on a $250,000 life insurance payout. A decade on, the Court of Appeal has today granted Milner's request to get body samples released from ESR and sent to Australia for free. Forensic testing. Jonathan Mitchell reports. Philip Nesbitt's death was initially treated as a suicide, but the case was reopened in 2011 after an investigation by his sister, Leanne Cartier, and an inquest. The family had asked for his remains to be returned to them, but now there's little hope of that. Ms Cartier says the family is devastated by the ruling and feels re-victimised. This is the last part of Phil and they're allowing it to be violated, to do tests that are totally unfounded and a wild goose chase. She says it's especially hard for her dead brother's children. When do my my nephews get to put this to rest? Then my youngest nephew, this has been going on, this is getting close to half his life with this nightmare um, and, and the court system and, and, and everything else. Having lost an appeal against her conviction, Helen Milner now wants to apply to the Governor-General to exercise the Royal Prerogative of Mercy. Her legal team will attempt to argue Mr Nesbitt may not have taken enough poison to kill him, but died as a result of a latent heart condition. A victim advocate, Ruth Money, says the court decision has wider implications. It's a pretty slippery slope. You know, you, you lose your loved one to crime, but you're also now losing the samples and the body parts they are going to be withheld from you. So it's, yeah, it's a double whammy. You lose the person, but you also lose the parts. She says the overseas testing is basically now a fishing expedition. They know these tests will be unreliable. They say that in their submissions, but they're still now going to go ahead with them. So, yes, we don't have to wait for a decision around access to body parts anymore, but there's still going to be ongoing traumatisation of the family at the hands of the person who murdered their loved one. Leanne Cartier's lawyer, Nikki Pender, says the action taken by Milner is mischievous. One of the things they're looking to do is to test, to retest blood samples uh, for the levels of um, promethazine and there to see whether they are consistent with the toxicology results that were used at trial. Yet their own expert says, well, we know that over time those blood samples will have degraded uh, to the point where we're, there's unlikely to be any promethazine left in them. She says there's unlikely to be an appeal to today's ruling, but the family can still have a say. So any test results, to the extent that they may wish to use them in support of an application for mercy... I think the family would wish to be involved in that process and to be given the right to make submissions and to maybe even cross-examine the expert witness that they're relying on. RNZ has attempted to contact Helen Milner's lawyer, Rupert Glover, for comment. For Checkpoint, call Jonathan Mitchell, 10